This is day two of posting a YouTube video every single day until I make $1,000 from this YouTube channel. Currently, we're at 738 subscribers, which means we gained one subscriber since yesterday. Thank you to whoever subscribed. Um, it's not amazing, but hey, progress is progress. Like I said yesterday, YouTube requires you to hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in order to get your page monetized. I've been posting YouTube videos off and on for the last couple years, but they haven't been the greatest. It's just been mainly a bunch of short form videos that really lacked value and entertainment altogether. I thought that if I just posted anything, then I would see success with my YouTube channel, but I was wrong. Now I've realized that I need to start making videos that actually provide value to the viewer. On this channel, we'll be talking about things like business, money, entrepreneurship, investing, goal setting, and so on. So if any of that interests you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow along. I hope I've hit a thousand subscribers soon, but I'm willing to do this as long as it takes. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my personal experiences about starting my business. This can give you some insights about the pros and cons, about starting and growing a business, and just some realistic insights on what it's like. So the year is 2021. I was just getting back from a summer internship. Um, it went okay, but it didn't provide a long-term job for me. Um, when I was getting back to my hometown, I was debating on what to do for work. I was thinking about going back to my old company, um, but I decided not to. I decided to explore other opportunities instead. I remember seeing a YouTube video about this guy that made a living from buying and selling couches. I thought that sounded kind of interesting, so I decided to give it a try. Um, I don't remember what my expectations were of it. I'm sure I wasn't thinking that that would be my full-time job, but mainly just a way to make some extra money. So I rented a truck and found a couple free couches, got a storage unit, and resold the couches uh, like the next day and made like $300 profit. So that was pretty cool. I did it again a couple other times and again and again and before you knew it I was doing this just about every day. I went and bought a little trailer to hook up to the back of my SUV and I was driving around all day every day picking up couches and reselling them. That business evolved into what it is today. I've got a website, a Google page and um, people are starting to know me as the couch guy. It's been a lot of fun running a business. The pros are that you can be in control of your schedule. You can decide when you work and when you don't work. The cons are that it definitely takes some risk. You risk wasting time, you risk wasting money, and you risk providing someone a bad product or service and people getting upset at you. All of those things have happened. Um, but overall, the pros have outweighed the cons. I've been doing this for about three years now. I plan on to keep doing it. From running this business, I've learned valuable lessons like how to manage employees, how to manage an inventory, how to manage my money, and how to manage my time. All of those things are very valuable and can translate into other business opportunities. Um, currently, I'm exploring a couple other business opportunities. Um, the first one has to do with home cleaning and just home services in general. And the other business route I'm pursuing is real estate. I got my license to be a real estate agent and um, I've been selling houses as well. Everyone has their own path. Um, your path can look much different from mine. Um, I like the path that I'm on and uh, I'm gonna stick with it, and success doesn't come overnight, but it comes from pushing through the hard times and being consistent with your input. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow. And be sure to keep following along. I'm gonna continue sharing more information about my business and how much it costs to start my business, how much it costs to run it, um, as well as I'm going to keep you updated on the growth of my YouTube channel and um, we'll, we'll keep going until this thing gets monetized. So thanks for watching.
Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you saw the end of my last video, you saw that I'm actually not gonna be posting every single day. I've decided I'm gonna post every Friday. So check back next Friday for updates on my business and YouTube channel. And again, I'm gonna do it every single week until this page gets monetized and I make $1,000. So we'll see you next week.